Hey everybody, RC here. We're back with some Draft Day Sports Pro Football. We're playing with the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, this is Season 6, Episode 3. We are 9-2, and two, sporting a four-game advantage. And uh, heading into the home stretch. Our conference record is done. Uh, we end up going 8-12. and Well, let's see. No, not the conference, the division. We're 4-1. and one. We've got one game left. Okay, so uh, the Giants are the only other team with a winning record. Eagles and Redskins at one and four. Uh, we have lost our last game to the Bills, which ended a nice, uh, what is that, an eight, a nine-game win streak. There you go. So let's get to it. Let me adjust this just a touch so I can see the screen. All right. Let's go ahead and simulate the week. Home game with the Jets. 40 to 17. What a win. Prescott with three touchdowns. Very nice. Cooper. Ship. High Watson. Barrera. Derek Knowlton. Knowlton gets on the score sheet. Wow. All right, four of four with two touchdowns. Perfect rating for Reuter. Nice. High Watson, 16. Uh, rushing's a little troublesome. We've been talking about that. We've been having to throw the ball to win. Seven for 127. Knowlton, five for 69. Nice. All right. Good deal. All right, on the road against the Patriots. 24 to 10. Prescott, 358 yards, two touchdowns. One to Ship, one to Cooper. High Watson adds in an eight yard run. Only 1.9 yards a carry. Ow. Ship and Cooper both go over 100 yards. We will take that for sure. Anything in there? Nothing at all. Let's take another quick look at the standings. We're 11 and 2. So we're six up. Giants have now lost six in a row. So we have clinched the East with no problem. And we are the number one seed. And that's 13. So we've clinched the number one seed for the playoffs. So that's good. Uh, let's take a quick look. At contracts. All right, because we are not getting any type of uh, feedback. So I, may, I must not have. All right, so he's at five, almost five and a half. And he's 31. Let's go ahead and give him a three year deal. Uh, let's balance it. He may not take that. He probably won't because it's just a touch less than he's making now. Smith. Problem is, how far can these guys go, right? Yeah, I don't want to offer him a five-year deal at 34 years old. Maybe a two-year deal. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, I think I'd like to re-sign Chubb. He's making 2.4. Well, no, you're going to be a starter. All right. I must not have had any offers out to anybody, huh? All right, let's see. Fulmer's making 2.1. Nine starts last year, eight this year. So he's a nickel back at worst. He's only 27. 2.1. Let's go ahead and give him a four-year deal. Kyler. 
Collins. He's a starter. 42 tackles. 1.8. I mean, I doubt if he's going to take a pay cut, right? So if we go 1.9. Maybe he'll take it. Covington started for us this year. He's been a starter. 31 years old. I'm guessing he's not going to. Again, I don't know why the game puts pay cuts in there if there's no shot in the hell of them taking those. That's ridiculous. You know, there. You know, I like the game, but there are some things I think that could stand improvement. Um, I think there's a lot more communication between agents, players, and teams on contracts. Um, you know, maybe even a list of the you know top ten players at the position, what they're making. You know, because that's going to factor into a player's mind, right? You know, I want to be the highest paid player. I want to be. But, you know, not every player can be. But it gives you, uh, you know, gives you somewhere to at least go from, right? All right, Pritchett, he's going to be a backup. One seven. You know what? I'll offer him that. Uh, hello. Well, can I not? Uh-oh. Uh, let me... Hmm. It's not. Oh, hold on. All right. You know what? Let's let's sim the week and see if we can get past that. Right. All right. So we had that. All right. Simulate the week. Okay. So we had an error. Errors are not good. I don't like errors. I don't get errors in many games. All right, 38-21. All right, let's see. High Watson, a 21-yard run. Prescott to Cooper. A fumble return for Seattle. Prescott to Cooper again. Chubb, an interception return. And Randy Ship picked up a 9-yard pass. Prescott... 26 of 38, three touchdowns. Watson, 15. Eh. The rushing just leaves a lot to be desired, right? All right, let's uh, let's save this just with the <coughs> with the errors there. All right, uh, you you. All right, so Prescott. All right, Tyron Smith signs. Fulmer signs. Collins has signed. Covington has signed. So that's good. All right. Chubb is furious. <laughs> he formulated it rather differently. All right. So Prescott. Yeah, he's going to have to make at least what he's making now, right? So 5-4. So let's go up to 5-6. Keep it balanced. Uh, let's go front light. That way at least it's tailing down, right? I, I, I kind of like that structure. Okay. Now, Chubb, 2-4 again. I wish I knew what they were already making. Um, no, you're, gonna, you're a starter, dude. Let's just do two years if that's what you want. Okay, now that puts us at 73 million. That's these two guys. Everybody else signed. All right, Pritchett, didn't he sign? Or was he the one that we had the error on? Wow. All right, I don't know what the deal is there. All right, Quinn. Quinn's 34. He has he's not starting. 
He's currently making 1.6. If he'll take the pay cut, we'll keep him. All right, Flores is our starting center, former first round pick. Definitely a starter. 1.3. Can I get him for Can I get him for under 2? And I'd like him for 5 years. Um I'd like him for under 3. I most definitely would. All right. Uh, Koch. Now, Koch was a free agent, right? And he has not played this year. I'll offer him two years at what he's making now. Cooper's 30. Yeah, I don't want to pay him that much. Yeah, let's uh let, we'll submit that. See if he'll if he's willing to be our backup. Uh Olafont, I would like to keep you. You're a former first round pick. 370. Wow. Wow. You have been a starter. You have gone up every year, but that's a lot. Can I get you a little bit cheaper? Say two six. We'll go front light. Hi Watson. Yeah, hey, you're not doing well this year, pal. I am not going to pay you $2.83 million. There's no way. Uh, I might pay you just over a million. And you know what? I'll take two years off of that. So you're not locked in long term. But yeah, I'm not going to pay you that much. Um, Vasquez... Is Lance even playing for us? Not really. Ratings. Let's see. He's a tackle, so strength. Yeah, his blocking's fine. 345. We'll submit that. All right, let's see what these guys do while we play out another week. And Washington... Let's get it done, boys. 14 to 7. It was a nail biter. Expected with the Redskins. All right. We had a 14 nothing lead. Uh, yardage. Yeah. All right. Well, two touchdowns. Wow. High Watson, 123 yards. Wow. Money's on the line, and he stepped his game up, didn't he? Okay, let's see. Bradley Chubb initially, that was last one, and that was last one. All right, training report. All right, Terry Oliphant signed. Patrick Koch signed. Robert Quinn signed. Bradley Chubb signed. Ah, damn. Dak wants more money. Okay, so he hasn't made a decision yet. All right. I think High Watson we're done with. I think we'll just draft another running back. And you know what? That may be my game plan is just to draft a running back every time, you know, like a year before our guy goes, you know, becomes a free agent. Unless they're just like a stud, but I'm still trying to figure out player development and and ratings increases and and stuff like that, right? Um, 
So, you know, like that kicker that we signed, I thought he would be pretty decent, but he's just not ramping up, you know. So I, I, I don't know how how that does. So if anybody from uh, Wolverine sees this or, you know, if anybody that plays a lot is watching this, if you know how player ratings increase, how long it takes a player to become you know, reach potential, you know, that's the thing. A lot of other games will show you current rating, potential rating, and they may never actually get there, but it gives you an idea of where they might end up with, you know? Um, so with this, I'm not seeing anything that gives me a real understanding of where they could end up. And of course, you know, we've talked about the scouting and stuff and actually being able to know what you're drafting, no clue. Um, all right, so we need to go back to contracts because it's imperative, I think, that we sign Dak. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go to, I'm going to go up to 6.1 and we'll do four years. Um, Pritchett, I mean, he's a backup. I wouldn't, I won't mind signing him, but you know, it's, can I get, can I get you a one year deal at 1.6? And Flores, I think it's imperative that we re-sign him too. So one point. I'm going to go ahead and offer him the three years that he's asking there. There's, I don't really think I have a choice. It's a big-ass pay raise. Uh, you guys are done. You're gone. Lance. All right, we'll submit that. Uh, pace, speed, endurance, tackling. Tackling could be better. I don't think he played it. He has not played at all this year. 300. I'm not going to give him starter money, so we're going to let him go. All right, Anthony. You were a seventh round pick. Yeah, your pass blocking's pretty crap. But if you don't ask for a lot of money to be a backup, maybe I'll keep you. All right, that was you. All right, we got Pace here. Pace was a sixth round pick. Hasn't played. Speed, endurance. He wants over a million dollars. Um, I'm going to go prospect at 750. Now let's go three years. Probably not. A great contract offer. All right, you're good and pace. Then I just are you the one I just offered? Yes. Okay. So we'll go with that. All right. Let's get back into. Uh, is this the season finale? I believe. All right. Send the week. Go back. Uh, show games. Show the score. Oh, 21-18. We finish 14-2. Good season, boys. All right. High Watson with the catch. Cooper. Watson with a run. Damn. All right. 25 of 32. 310 and two touchdowns. 3.3 and 3.9. That's a hell of a lot better than two point something. Ship seven for 78. Cooper goes over 100 yards. Oliphant and Watson and Knowlton all with catches. Gotta like that, right? All right. Come on, Dak. 
All right, Pritchett signs. See, I think it would be really nice to have a button here to jump to, to jump to negotiations to keep me from having to bounce around. And then it's you got to have something that shows me what I offered last time, you know, or, or the you know last couple, you know, give me a list right here. You could even show what the offers are, you know, uh, most recent, you know, most recent, previous, previous, previous. And, you know, that way I can see where I'm going, what I've offered, because I don't remember. I mean, I just did it. I'd have to go back and watch the video and how many people are going to buy the game and then record themselves playing the game. And and then, you know, be able to go back and see that. So you got to you got to do something here to help out. I'm just I'm just thinking you got to. Um, but anyway. All right. So let's go back into contracts. All right, uh, Dak, what the hell do you want? Five, four. Uh, how old is he? 31. Let's go five years. And Flores. Yeah, okay, so three, four, five, and I want you for five years. Um, submit offer. All right, so let's take a look at the standings. All right, so the Packers go 11 and 5, Bucks 11 and 5, Cowboys 14 and 2, Seahawks 10 and 6. Niners get a wild card at 10 and 6. And then who got in? Was it 9 and we have two 9 and 7 teams, Saints and Lions. Conference record both went 7 and 5. Saints went 3 and 3 in division, Lions went 2 and 4. That might give it to the Saints. Not positive. Not sure about tiebreakers that deep. Steelers uh, Jaguars, Texans also went 13 and three, as did the Bills. Chargers go nine and seven; they get in as their division champ. Texans get the first wild card. The Patriots get the second one, so that is going to put us into the playoffs. So we have the Lions in the pack, Niners, Seahawks, and then Patriots, Steelers, Texans, Chargers. So we're going to go ahead and simulate the week. All right, Steelers beat the Patriots 30 to 20. They advance to take on the Bills. Texans crush the Chargers 48 to 3. They will take on the Jags. Lions beat the Packers 24-13. They get the Buccaneers and the Seahawks shut out the Niners 13 to nothing and that's who we will face in the next round. What's going on here? More money. All right, Rush finally got around. He doesn't like it. No, no. Flores. Oh, wait, here we go. All right, so Dak, I don't, what's, what's. So this says that he, week 17 wants it more lucrative. Same week, not ready to make a decision. And has signed. All right, Flores signs, Prescott signs. All right, we're going to delete everybody. Let's take one last quick look at contracts. Where are we at on? We're at 96 million. All right, Pace, you can walk. Anthony, Anthony, you can walk. Lance, Watson. speed agility is not really great but i do like the speed i'd like him to have more agility or power one of the or, or one of the two i'm certainly not giving you that much no because you're not running that well i mean you're not getting the yards per carry that like ezekiel elliott was getting 
So speed isn't everything. Speed is not the be-all, end-all there. All right, I think everybody else can walk. We'll let them all walk. Let's get through the playoffs, guys, so we can wrap up this episode. Did go a little long with the contract offers. I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. We end the regular season fifth in scoring, fifth in yardage, third, uh, fourth in passing, and 22nd running, only 89.9 yards a game. On the defensive side, we're number three in scoring, number six in total yardage, number nine against the rush, and number six against the pass. So not doing too bad, not doing too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate the week. Oh, and we, oh man, 23 to 20. So we're one and done. One and done. All right, let's see. Man, they got us there. They got us there. You know, that's that's what hurt that's what hurts us right here, man. Uh we didn't even have a turnover. All right. Dak put us up with a touchdown pass to ship in the first quarter. Uh they they went up 10-7. We tied it up, and then we took the lead as uh, Prescott hit Cooper. And we were leading by four at the half, leading by a point after three. We scored, and then they scored in the final minute. Russell Wilson to Will Disley, nine yards to end it for us. 3.2, 2.1, yep. You're you're done, dude. You you can walk. I'm I'm not happy. I'm not paying you whatever you were asking. That's crap. All right. So Lions and Seahawks. The Seahawks advance there. I mean, at least if we lose, we're losing to the NFC champs, right? Uh, the Bills beat the Jaguars. And the Seahawks beat the Bills 37 to 20 to win the Super Bowl. Great season for us. Let's go ahead and check our team stats. Dak completes 68%, 31 touchdowns, six interceptions. That's a that's a hell of a season, right? Uh, I, I'm very happy with that. Uh, High Watson, 845 yards, 3.6 yards a carry, seven touchdowns, six for Barrera. He averaged 3.9. I think he'll be an okay back, uh, but we need to find a, a feature back. It may be something we look at in free agency. We, we notice there's been a lot in free agency. Uh, 103 catches for Cooper, 1,800 yards, 12 touchdowns. Ship, 86 catches. He goes over 1,000 yards with 11 touchdowns. So our one-two punch had a great season. 52 catches for our tight end. Uh, 44 for our backup tight end. Knowlton gets 30. And uh, yeah, so not too bad. Kicking, 26 out of 27 on field goals. We'll take that every day of the week. Um, you know what? Let's look at this guy. Yeah, he just hasn't gotten any better. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to release him. We're just going to release him, save that money, and uh, and move on. On the defensive side, uh, Chubb, 108 tackles, 7 for loss, 7 sacks for Jackson, 6 for Covington, 2 forced fumbles for a, cup for a handful of players. And let's see, others. Is it in here? Oh, interceptions, there it is. 5 picks. For Byron Jones, I thought he retired. Who was our guy that retired? Now I need to go find that out. Team, team news. I thought he retired last year. No, not at all. All right, well, that's cool. Don't forget we have the extra fifth round pick in the upcoming season. And, uh, also, don't forget, we will be giving away a copy of this game uh, in about one month, right around Christmas. 
Uh, I will put up a video uh, here in the next week to let you guys know how to enter uh, and how to uh, get uh, get your name in. Uh, it will entail a little work on your part, but nothing major. Uh, basically, you're going to have to go to my go to a video and, and like it and make a comment, and that's it. And uh, once you make a comment, then I'll put your name onto a list, and uh, it could be any type of comment. Hey, this video sucks, or this is awesome, or you know, I hate the Cowboys, or I'm looking forward to winning a copy of the game. We're going to be giving away one copy. Uh, I have uh, talked to uh, Gary Gorski, the uh, owner of Wolverine Studios, and uh, he has, uh, you know, told me that he will gladly give me a copy of the uh, of the game to give away. And uh, we'll let that go for uh, the course of one month from Thanksgiving to Christmas, and then I will I will pull a name at random. And uh, I'll probably videotape that. We'll use some type of random uh, random number generator to to select a number and uh, pick somebody. And uh, that'll all be done on camera, so there's no hanky panky or anything. And then uh, you guys, what I'll do is I will reach out with your with your name uh, to Gary, let him know who won, and then I will tell you how to get in touch with Gary. Uh, and you'll go over to the Wolverine Studio site. Uh, you will send him a private message, and he will give you the code for the game. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's how it's going to work out. I kind of just did the video, but we're going to do a standalone video for it. But I am going to start mentioning it pretty regularly. Uh, so look for that to come up here in the next in the next week, probably. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Uh, that do, you know, that's your way of supporting the channel. If you like the video hit the like button. That's that's all I ask. I don't ask you guys for money. Uh, just ask you to hit that like button. So thank you very much. Great season for the Cowboys. We'll be back for the draft and season seven in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.